Tip number one for staying consistent in your braiding is Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson on how to stay consistent with your braids. And by that I mean how do you keep each braid around the same size and how do you braid down tightly so that it looks very compact and uniform. Let's get straight into it. So first you're going to see me take my precision comb and I'm going to comb through my client's hair. I am a natural hair advocate so if your client does have natural hair and it's not like permed or straightened. Do not use that fine tooth comb. Please use something like a wide tooth comb or like a medium tooth so that you're not pulling out their hair. But in this case, my client had permed hair and that fine tooth comb wasn't causing any damage. Tip number one for staying consistent in your braiding is to have a good grip. And by good grip, I don't mean pull your client's head to the point where it's hurting but just make sure you have a firm grip and as you can see I kind of like use my other fingers like my pinky finger to allow me to grab onto the pieces a little bit better. Literally straight into tip number two is to add smaller pieces of hair to your braid. Now when you add like smaller pieces you have more control over the sizing of your braid how thick how thin you want it to be so adding smaller pieces gives you more control over what the braid looks like for example if you were to add a big bulky piece it's not going to blend well into the braid and you're going to see that line of like demarcation where you added that big old bulky piece so tip number two is to add smaller pieces so that you have more control as i discussed in previous lessons it doesn't really matter how many pieces you add, you can add as many pieces as you want to change the sizing of the braid, but I would say probably stick around five pieces or so per braid, but it also depends on whether or not your client has some parts that are thicker, some parts that are thinner, because naturally you're going to have to add more braiding hair to sections of the head that are thinner, so that it kind of evens out. So it's not really like... There's no formula to follow as to how many pieces or what size pieces. You really just gotta go with your braider's intuition on this one. Tip number three is to keep my fingers really close to the base while I'm braiding down. So if my fingers were like farther down on those strands, the braid is going to come out a lot looser. So keeping my fingers really close to each other and like the base of where I'm braiding is going to help keep it really tight. If you look closely, you see that I'm putting each strand kind of like behind each other and that's going to create like that flat braid look. If your braid starts to thin out before you want it to, go ahead and add another small piece or another few small pieces as you braid down. And this will allow you to also keep the consistency of the braid that you want until you're ready for it to thin out. Of course, no braids are absolutely perfect, and these are the braids that I showed in the first picture in the introduction. And honestly, after dipping them, they were a lot more flexible because they look a little stiff right now, but that's okay. That concludes this lesson on how to be consistent and uniform in your braids.